numbers between the lines in three, two, one, go. Both alliances in this match choose to forgo two no hatch panels. That's going to increase their scoring potential in this match by two points apiece. We do see those hatch panels being put in place. Killer Bees has done one. They're going back for their second during the sandstorm. They miss by just inches as the shades come up. 25-26 from Minnesota. They zoom across field. They are a phenomenal defensive bot for your number two alliance in red. Killer Bees focusing on hatch panels all day long. They run into defense from Nighthawks, but they are so fast they can change their position, get to the other side of the Red Alliance cargo ship before Nighthawks can catch up. Inverse Paradox on the Red Alliance. They've dropped off their fourth hatch panel on a Red Alliance rocket. That Red cargo ship pretty much empty of a cargo. They've got five spots left where they can drop in an easy three points for the Red Alliance score. Blue has the lead currently, minute and a half remaining in the match, 45 to 40. Tigertrons with some cargo moving toward the Blue Alliance cargo ship, but Crimson Robotics in red still sticking tight to them. They push them away toward empty cargo bays or toward the other side of the field so that they are not able to continue scoring. Killer Bees momentarily, they get pushed over to the blue side, but they are stuck on that defense from 614. One minute remaining in the match, one point, the difference between these two alliances in their score in semifinal match number two. Crimson still playing as tight defense as they can. They notice that Scott spots are dropping in some cargo, but they do not get there in time. That cargo falls in for three more points for your blue alliance. 614, Nighthawks still playing that defense against Killer Bees. Inverse Paradox, they have been left alone for the majority of the match, and they put up tons of points for your Red Alliance. Killer Bees doing the work they can as well, despite the defense giving the Red Alliance the lead with our end game warning sounding. Scott's box drop in three more points for your Blue Alliance, despite the defense from Crimson. Crimson sees Tigertron. They want to slow them down. Tigertron need one last hatch panel to try to secure a few more points for your Blue Alliance. Killer Bees are up off the ground in red. Crimson coming in level two for red as well. It looks like we might have two robots on two, one on red as our score counts down the end of semifinal two. Your Blue Alliance. They take it with 88 to 87 in semifinal match number two.